this way, yeah. Yes. Morning on this slightly overcast Sunday. It's Sunday the 24th of July at 5.45am. I'm here outside my local car boot waiting for the stewards to open up so we can drive in um, and the buyers to park in the field and then to wait again till 7 o'clock. So hopefully um, today I'll get some good bits. There's not many people here at the moment, but normally it's quite um, busy, but who knows. I haven't been down to my local Sunday one for a month, so just hoping I get some good bits. So as I say, I do some GoPro food. Gym. Here is the green Power Ranger from My Dwarf and Power Rangers, Tommy Oliver figure. I got it from Pete. He's just behind me. Sales the Unexpected, um, behind me in the queue. And he hasn't got his gun, but fair enough. You can get these bits and pieces. Um, in decent condition. A little bit yellowing, but I'm not fussed about that. As long as I've got the figure, it's okay. He does move his head. He moves his head. Perfect for my collection. Tommy Oliver figure, the green Power Ranger. Let's see what I can find. So we're down there. Oh, we're up there. Going to be on the sides as well. It's quite a lot. It's seven minutes past seven. How much do you want? Uh, £3 for the lot. Yeah, go on in. Yeah. I'll take £3, yeah. Why not? Uh, video player, play on it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'll give you two, you? Oh, there we go, Chip. Legend. <clears throat> Absolutely knackered. I walked all that, that, and that halfway around the car boot to here. I am um, officially knackered. I got this and West Ham, one Chelsea, and Chris Pilots magazines for six pounds. And that I think I paid like a couple of pounds or something. VHS tapes. Um, then we got. We, that, Topoli, that, then I'll play another way, it's all falling out, yeah, don't worry, I'll put it in there and go around again. I was too busy buying quite a lot of stuff, I forgot to <laughs> show the board games and the magazines and that, but oh well, go in there and have a look around again. Looks like they've cut the grass because they're doing some work over there, trimming the bushes and trees. Sweet. Right, get back. I say I didn't film much or anything really of that um, haul. There's in certain ones like that.
How much are those? Pound. Yeah, a pound, yeah. Got a net. Got a pound. I should have... Yeah, there we go, lovely. Thank you much. Thank you. Cheers. How much? Oh! Uh. Is that Betamax? Betamax? No, it's not. Nope, just yeah. normal. Pound? Pound, yeah, go in. You're back again, then. Where'd you go? Stay so and come back here. What? You went out and come back, did you? Yeah, I had to go and put stuff in the out. car. Thank you. I had loads of bags with, with me, I was like, couldn't carry it, couldn't carry it around there. So I had to put it in the car, so get a lighter load for right. the next lot. Thank you. The next lot? Yeah, it is. God, mm, last time. Cigarette, uh, got to turn them. Hey. Hello, Jims. Yeah. Mm, nah, don't bite with it. Forward to action these days. If it. 
Pressure, pressure. Last week was hot, and that's when. Yeah. Shamber Mega, dude. Sound dodgy Mega. Uh, Simpsons. Have a look at these. Hi, <sighs> 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 I'll just just grab these ones. Yeah, we got. We got. Got uh, four games. Alright, it's up. Sure, I've got, I've got any change. I don't know. I think it's the biggest number of rows that I've seen from way down there, all the way right, and near right at the end. Yeah, the amount of rows that I've seen. It's a beautiful day. So, there's a few more rows um, with a GoPro on it. Done round Hook Road car boot. It's five to nine, and yeah, sun was out. People were buying, people were selling. What more could you want? And I picked up loads of goodies to um, share with you in a sec in the haul. So happy with what I picked up. I've now sorted out the items that I got today at the local car boot Hook Road. So I've gone through the items, sorted them out, checked for all the F pieces, cleaned most of the stuff, um, priced it up compared to what I paid, etc. It was a very big car boot day, right at the end of the um, field. And it was very warm today as well, so a lot of people were selling and a few people were buying. So, well, I'll do a share with you what the item is, what I paid and what it's worth. So, first thing, I've weighed the same pets, um, VHS tape series two, UK drama comedy thing, paid three pound worth, 15 so your bread and butters so yeah look at a the same pet all there so paid for you should get 15 pounds the first one next one was a boxed wee this one it's got a 15 pound label on i put the um note on there sticky note 15 pounds i won't get it all out it's um, the Wii paid £15, no Wii Sports, 
a no control stand, the stand where the Wii goes into, but it's pretty much all there. I won't get it all out, but as you can kind of tell, anyway, I won't get the bottom one out, but it's basically all there. I sorted it all out, duh, 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 duh. and yeah, what more can you want? So, this one, if I can acquire a Wii Sports for cheap, then, I can sell it for around about fifty pounds, something like that. Let me just put this back. I can get it back in it. There we go. Lovely. So I should be able to get fifty pounds from fifteen as long as I get the um, Wii Sports. Don't worry about the stands. Uh, just standard things that you never get there. It's so happy to see the box we um this one I actually got before any of the gaming dealers. <laughs> mm. oh, dear. And then the next one was another boxed Wii. Um, this one was not complete. It came with the uh, nunchuck. A, a lady who I was chatting to she had a box Wii um, I didn't get it all on film because I brought a lot of stuff off her and, and a guy to, they were doing it together. So I got this one. Um, it's got the Wii, the stand, the instructions, the cable, and one Wii controller. So like bits and pieces. I paid seven. So uh, yeah, seven pounds. So I can basically part, part it all out. So it's basically just all in there. Right there. Basically all in there. So that's good, part it all out. Then, put it down there for a sec. Uh, with the uh, box Wii, because I had it on me, I paid for a box Wii, and then what I did, I went to the um, board games. I went to all the board games there. Um, well, oh yeah, firstly what I got was this one. Guitar Hero um, 3 Legends of Rock. Just a standard one for Guitar Hero on the PlayStation 3. Paid that one. Oh, it was six pound all in with this, with the Monopoly board game. Got to be very, very careful because it falls out. Um, let's have a look. See what it's got. Contents. Twenty houses, thirty-two needed hotels. Basically, pretty much all in there. So that, well, that one on its own will go for like thirty pound anyway. The Monopoly. That one, so happy with that. Um, the next one they picked up in front, these are basically in front of um, a couple of um, guys who resell. And they're like, oh, I've got some good stuff there, yeah, pretty much. Especially with some of the other bits I picked up as well from the same um, stall, it was a Totopoly board game. So, it's big Totopoly. I say I won't get it all out, but it's basically. Uh, what I can make out all in there to topoly by make sort of a Cluedo, so it's like a racing game, it's got horses and all that stuff right there. To topoly, um, I say I won't get it all out, but show you there. What I can see, it's all there. See, um, not sure what year, but it's a really nice one. That one to, to topoly should go for around 50 60 pounds. As long as I've marked it all there, well, I can have a look because the instructions don't say about the um, contents in the board game because it's an older white one, so that was quite good. I'll pop that down there. And the next one I picked up from the same um, person on the same stall was Winner's Circle board game. Should be around £30. So Winner's Circle, another horse racing board game, quite an older one, got a few marks, same with these to top of it, you've got a big um, rip at the back, but that's fine. So I should get about £30 for this one. Uh, what I can look at, it sh looks like it's all there, what I can see online as well. So the Winner's Circle, to top of it, Monopoly and this one, I paid um, six pound all in, so it's like two pound a game, three, four, six, and that was like basically for nothing. Very, very kind lady. Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So that was that. Um, and then um, I paid for all that. Because I paid for the Wii first. And then I paid for the um, board games and this game. Um, I didn't get it on camera. Because I was trying to go do good deals. And, and then I forgot. <laughs> um, I picked up a load of football programmes. I, w I won't get them all out. But there's quite a few. There's way more than this. Like, like for example, West Ham and... Crystal Palace, because she had like Leighton Orion, she had AFC Wimbledon, Liverpool, Arsenal, that sort of thing. Um, and I would type hammers, so I'll do bundles. So mainly bundles, probably do a few between 15, probably I would say around £15 per bundle. And with all the programmes I got, I pay it's six pounds. I've loads. I got one Chelsea one um, for my collection, which I can't find at a particular moment in time, but it will be there. So yeah, loads. And there's a lot more as well. It's right down to the bottom of, of the bag. There's quite a few. Um, West Ham and Crystal Palace programs. I'm one Chelsea one for myself because I'm a Chelsea fan. <laughs> that was quite a good six pounds, same stall. Basically, most of the stuff I got today was from the same stall. Ah, oh, yeah. And then I picked up um, van shoes from a lady, size 12, clown feet. <laughs> size 12, need a bit of a clean. Um, should get around 15 to 20 paid a pound for these yellow vans. Next one, um, I picked up a randomised Queen um, at Wembley VHS, it doesn't go for much, paid a pound, should go for around £10, Queen at Wembley, 1985 or 6, something like that, that's it, Queen there, um, right, oh yeah, um, Went back later on and the same store and she had some more stuff out. Um, there was a bloke, uh, a lady, and uh, another, another, another lady by then. I picked up some Commodore stuff, so it's like Air Combat Emulator, Hit Pack, pack 4 in 1, Bomber Jack, Frank Bruno Boxing, Airwolf, and Commando. Just a connect. It animals, whether it like that for the Wii, um, Xbox Connect, and Samba de Amigo. So, for all these, for I paid three pound um, all in. So, let's have a look what we got. Should get ten pound for that. Commodore fifteen, what I can see on that. Uh, Samba de Amigo worth seven pounds. And connect, which should go for a bundle with my connect that I've got one left. So pretty happy with what I've picked up overall. Roughly, it was three hundred and seven pounds. Um, what it's worth, barring the bundles, and then you've got to take off your fees and all that stuff, and then you've got to take off like we paid and that, any best offers, all that. Um, I paid forty-two pound all in. So decent amount of money to spend for a good um, return value. So, like when I get round to the Wii, I shouldn't stay around long and same with board games. But let me know in the comments below um, what you liked about the haul and did I miss anything throughout when I did my footage? And like, share, and subscribe. Take care. See ya.